I respectfully would like to work with this board, my community is, so I have to put this issue to rest that took place during the last campaign, and it dealt with an incident at Wilson High School during the campaign. It is a point captain by you that I started submitting a letter requesting an investigation. Now I'm going to read the first paragraph, and then I will have a copy of the letter for each member of the board, and I would like to submit it into the record. Dear Mr. Johnson, thank you for bringing this, this matter to my attention. I understand your concern regarding the Wilson language presents being involved in the post Antioch political fire. As a city organization, and while in uniform, we are to be impartial and unbiased when it comes to politics. Only when we are out of uniform and not representing the city can we then voice our opinion. I have addressed this with the officer assigned to the Wilson Magnet Program in regard to our impartial and unbiased stance on politics while in uniform. Any moment can be a peaceful moment, but the, but the manner in which that essence is thought is the key. In the end, Captain Baeza states here, I have looked into this matter and determined that no crime has been committed. Therefore, there will be, there will be no, any, there will not be any formal investigation. I personally still hold, and will hold accountable, people who have attacked and slandered my reputation as a 20 plus year employee of the city of Los Angeles Recreation and Parks, oh, and the comments that were made against me in the documentation that I was previously meeting slanders my reputation and should be liable as an interest to my job and my reputation. I would hope that each new board would learn from that incident and conduct themselves appropriately and respectfully, even when viewpoints may be cross current and disagreeable thoughts. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next up, I have Aston Zulu. Asensio. Asimo. Anselmo. Flores. Someone from getting infected if taken either before they have unprotected sex 
or after, within 72 hours. Um, unfortunately, a lot of Latinos don't know about it. A lot of people in our community don't know about it. A lot of people in this neighborhood don't know about it. So on June 9, 18th, uh, we're having a forum um, in Boyle Heights. I left flyers and my business card in the back. I encourage you all to come uh, and participate because, you know, a lot of people still believe that HIV just affects the gay community. And fortunately, no, that's not the case. It affects children, women, men of all backgrounds, all nationalities. Um, so it's important to have that information because it is a social justice issue. Um, everyone should have the right to that kind of information on how to keep themselves safe and how to access medication to keep themselves um, healthy. So thank you very much, and congratulations on being on board. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Mr. David Lau. Good evening, President and officers and directors of the board. Congratulations on your um, election and, and thank you for your service to the community. I'm David Lau, and my family owns a home on 56 39 Huntington Drive, and we we're planning to, um, well, earlier this year we submitted plans with the city to uh, build some uh, affordable and sustainable crafting homes on the property. And I would like to have the Land Use Committee review our project. And um, the various city departments has already uh, completed the review a few months ago. So as soon as the uh, news committee is formed, I would like to uh, have this space put in front of the committee in order to, uh, to address any concerns and also for us to be able to correctively um, work with the community for future benefit. So that's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Mr. McGuire. Thank you, board members. Michael McGuire, a long time resident uh, here in our community of El Sereno in the Emerald Park area, Eastern Region. It doesn't give me any pleasure uh, to come up here and speak before the board right now. Um, I heard some comments last night at the bonk meeting by our sitting treasurer that appeared to be divisive, somewhat incendiary, disparaging. You fill in the adjective. Um, that basically told X board members, perhaps city board members, that they are not welcome using terms like those people and these people and those that submitted this petition to fill the vacant seats. Now, look, you know, I don't like doing this, I said that, but it's, I'm not the one that made those comments, I'm reacting. That's a lot of what I do come up here, and a lot of the people out here do, they react to comments that are made, or attacks, or however you want to phrase it. It's unfortunate, I hope this isn't the mark that this board is going to go forward on. Um, having said that, you can judge for yourself once the Historic Society posts that meeting from last night. Please. Seconds. Please go out there and take a look at it, and you can determine for yourself if what I'm saying is accurate and true. Um, we have a representative of the Department of Labor and Empowerment here. Perhaps they can get up and explain why at least, and that petition is not on our agenda tonight, that we can at least say, we put it on the agenda. All it takes is, hello, we've got a, thanks, all right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. 
we have Mr. Pacheco. At last night's meeting with Bump, I tried to explain to the people there that one of the most important things to do in this country in order to have a democratic society is to be truthful. And one of the examples that I talked about was about Abraham Lincoln. Most people accuse Abraham Lincoln of using the emancipation to get the slaves to fight the Civil War for him. That's not true. Abraham Lincoln, on a congressional record, showed that President Polk was lying when he said that the American troops had been shot on and American soil. It cost him dearly. He never got elected again to Congress because he was truthful. I want to say, you have to be truthful. And I'm telling you right now, just like Honest Abe would come up and tell you that there was something illegal about the Mexican War, there's something going on downtown with guns. And I said that you're being used. The only way you're not going to be used is if you educate yourself for our sake, the stakeholders. Because you're supposed to be the prime, the cream, the best that we have in this community. But you will not be as long as you don't learn how you're being manipulated. Thank you. Thank you. Next up we have Mr. Javier or Xavier Estrada. Mr. Shah? He's coming. Apologize. I'm going to use uh, my time uh, when uh, the item uh, of uh, when you guys are uh, buying uh, new equipment or, or I'm going to talk at that time. So I divert my time right now to, to that time. Okay, okay. so Jessica, I'm Marina. Gama, I'm Dale. 
Isaac Aquino. Victor Ayala. Yes. Nicholas Carrillo. Ruben Chavez. Yes. Michelle Cruz Santos. No. Raymond Diaz. No. Angela Duarte. Yes. Marlene Fonseca. Foxy Melgar. George Fenty. Brian Cruz. Sasha Pérez. Adam Pieto. Agustin Rodriguez. Cynthia Sandoval. Patricia. Yes. It's uh, yes, three to five. That's the motion pass. Motion pass. Motion pass. Does that make any questions? Questions so we can have it done. Ms. Zach, can we ask you to come and address the stakeholders at this time? For five minutes? Uh, I, I think we'll, we have a few more comment cards, so can we pick up after? Should we? I just want to make sure that stakeholders have their public comment. Right, we're not going to take the public comment. Right? We're, we're done with public comment. The rest of them are public our comments for specific, specific items on the agenda. Oh, okay, great. Is there, there's nobody else who has a general public comment? For agenda item specific. Okay, after. Okay, we'll go ahead and pick that up after that too.
we decided not to. It definitely, and I do want to state this, definitely does not mean that the department at any point given our time, we are not at all addressing grievances or stakeholder petitions or that we are ignoring. We just want to make sure that we give you all the tools and information necessary that we know how to proceed. Okay. I have a question. Just to be clear, Deborah, so if any stakeholder comes forward with a grievance from here, as long as we're in exhausted efforts, the department will not allow? No, 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 not if the department won't allow. That's exactly what we needed to clarify. That's exactly the point we needed to clarify. And so, again, we're definitely in conversations with the city attorney in terms of what needs to be addressed by the department because your administration is under our responsibility and what can be addressed by this board. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Tavis? I'd like to have some clarification on where since we're in the special efforts, where you have done can trump our bylaws. I keep hearing from the great white and that telling you that the bylaws for this address almost anything, yet we're bypassing all of that. And I keep telling some of the people that you've done, not you personally, but you've done, have the ace under your arm, which is legal, okay, that you can trump certain things that we do or don't do, tell us how to or how not to because you have that kind of power as done. I'm sorry, I'm not aware of the department trumping any bylaws. Well, that's just a lack of verbiage on my part, but that's to try to make a point. You can't override certain things from our bylaws? We haven't. Just a quick question. Is there a policy that we can use as a board being placed on exhausted efforts that we can use as a guideline of, you know, Dunn's process? Because our bylaw says it must be put on the following general agenda. So do you have, is there a policy that we can use? Being placed on exhausted efforts. Put on the what on the following agenda? Is there a policy that the board can use as criteria or guidelines that Dunn, your office, is using when grievances are filed? Because do you have them? Actually, we don't, but the Board of Neighborhood Commissioners is working on a grievance process. So there isn't one. So what are you guys following right now? We're following the plan which gives us the administration of your neighborhood council while it's in exhausted efforts. Thank you. That's five minutes. Five minutes. Thank you, Ms. Lennon. Thank you. Celia is not really a discussion item right now. Sorry. Where is it? It's in the back. I was meant to go up to the door. We didn't get a proper pass out, so we don't know it was there. I'm sorry? We didn't get a proper pass out. That's what we don't know it was there. We weren't aware that there was a timer. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Great. So we have one more public comment. So we have a motion to... Is anybody entertaining a motion to return back? I'll make a motion. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
should also not be voting on anything tonight because you know that the people out here were the ones disenfranchised and none of us knew where the meeting was at if you guys didn't know where the meeting was at. So you guys have to be really truthful. And yes, I'm watching over there and I'm already prepared to submit another grievance uh, on other items. But with the grievances that she mentioned that are been in place, the Department of Labor and Parliament did mention that they do are, are most interested in the Safe Water Initiative petition. The reason is because the public voted for that. And that's our process to agendize something. Not the police, not the president, not them. Nobody can say don't agendize this if the community is asking for it. Not even exhaustive efforts. So that I call fluff. Fluff is a lie. You've heard other stakeholders uh, say uh, you're being um, misled. Pay attention to what's going on. Listen to the stakeholders. Follow the bylaws because as soon as you're making the bylaws, that's the easiest way to file a grievance. I'm not here to cause problems. I'm here to make it really easy for you guys. But just come up and ask, and you'll show how when we follow the process, it's smooth sailing. As soon as you divert from the process, there's obstacles. My name is Anthony. You'll hear a lot more from me tonight. Hi. And I will be assisting with the Treasury for a little bit later. Thank, Thank you, Anthony. You. Is that all for public comment? Yes. Do 
Okay, we had a motion to pass uh, to approve the minutes, second by, I'm sorry, who's second? I'm not sure. So all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstention? Motion passed. 